Hello everybody, just come back from my quick Hoi 4 A to Z break. Wasn't long enough. That's right, hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 A to Z where I play every single starting nation in all of Hearts of Iron 4. And recently, uh, you, if you're watching this in the future, not recently, we did 7 days of uploads of Hoi 4 A to Z and we got quite, quite a few nations done. I'd say quite a few, we got 7 done out of like 80. And I know a lot of you guys enjoyed the Hoi 4 A to Z. It got loads of views, broke records, got on trending. It was pretty cool. So, I want to go ahead and say it right now that when we hit 650k, we will be doing another 7 days of uploads. Currently, we're at uh, this amount. It's like 634, 635, I don't know, I, I don't know when this video is coming out, but I do know that uh, we should get 650 around maybe November, or December, probably December. But if you want to go ahead and speed it up, considering only 35% of you are not subscribed, why not hit the sub button right now? We could, we could have another Hoi 4 A to Z tomorrow. Oh no. But yeah, when we hit 650k, I'll do another 7 days, because I do want to get a lot of the Hoi 4 A to Z done and dusted with, so having 7 days uploads just does, uh, it does help us get through it. Uh, and of course, yeah, we will still be doing some releasable nations with Bo when we hit 650k, so you guys get a double little fun time. That'll be good for you, won't it? Hit the sub button. Uh-oh, someone hit the drama alarm. That's right, breaking news, drama, drama everywhere. With ISAR Productions, it appears that in the official Wikipedia list of countries I need to play for Hoi 4 A to Z, Kingdom of Greece is a not in the Ks, it's in the Gs, even though Dominion of Canada wasn't in the Cs, it was in the Ds. That's drama! Uh, so, considering there was only one nation in the case, which is Kingdom of Hungary, I'm not too sure why Kingdom of Greece hasn't moved. I assume it's because uh, maybe before they got their focus tree, uh, they were just called Greece, but now they're called Kingdom of Greece and they just didn't update the list. But, um, if I stray from the list, all rules go out the window. Even if, in turn, sticking to the list means breaking a rule. Um, Getting pretty meta here. Uh, yeah, so originally, I wasn't gonna worry too much about doing Kingdom of Greece right now. I was gonna wait till the case, but considering I wanna play Greece, we're just gonna play Greece. Or whoever is uh, in charge of the Wikipedia list, if you could just move Greece to the correct spot in the future, or maybe move Canada to the seas for, for you know, a bit of consistency, that'll be great too. All right, so today we're going over the letter G. Gee, aren't you glad we're playing Greece? <laughs> it should be in the case. Right, so out of all the nations that got new focus trees and, um, what was the focus tree? What was, what was the DLC called where they all got focuses? I, I can't actually remember. Uh, we'll, we'll just go ahead and call it the Balkan Battle Royale DLC. Wait, Battle for the Bosphorus! There we go. Ba we're gonna call it the Balkan Battle Royale DLC. And out of all those uh, new countries that got focus trees, uh, I think Greece was probably my least favorite. But I did get a tip off that if you go down the left side, apparently things can be pretty good. That's right. I read all your little comments, huh? You putting your little funny memes down there, huh? What are you typing right now? What's that? I saw Productions is the very best, and I'm hitting the sub on the like button. Well, thank you very much, Timmy underscore 420. And now, I'm not too sure this guy might have been smoking down here, but we'll try and figure out what exactly is so good about this side of the focus, because I'm pretty sure I did it anyway, and there's just uh, much better countries over here to actually do what the Greeks actually have to do in their focus tree. Overall, it's just not a very fun focus tree. I will put down... A consumer good factory in the... I don't even know what I want to do. I think first act on the um, the agenda today is survive. All right. Someone's going to have to explain to me how exactly I pronounce this one. Uh, do I have to pay this back? There we go. We've made a compromise with the monarchists where we will kill the king and get rid of the royal family, but we'll keep this little portrait of him around. They seemed happy with that deal for some reason. <laughs> Look at that. They love me. <laughs> they love me. Well, nobody turned up for my convention about cutting up turkey. So I guess we're going down a different route. Well, I'm sorry, my friend. I wasn't able to pronounce your name, but I'm sure I'll be able to pronounce 
Oh, that's actually pretty easy. Nailed it. Oh, this is where things start to not really make much sense because apparently, as fascists, we can be friendly with the communists. Question If so, can my half funded army take down the Bulgarians first? Uh, this was, um, incredibly messy. Yeah. That kind of sucked. It uh, wasn't so much a war as it was just pausing and unpausing for about 10 minutes. Oh, well, I've just been sitting here slowly raising my power levels, but I do not see what is so overpowered about this focus tree. It sucks. It is kind of interesting to see what they were doing with the focus tree where a lot of your actual factories and stuff just comes from you being friendlies with people, just having high relations. Uh, so you just get off map factories from that, but you have to keep these at a hundred or else you don't get them. And then you obviously get the uh, investing you can do where nations can give you civilians for just uh, 150 political which is okay but most of the time they just say no which isn't great oh well. might as well go to war with turkey then oh i think Italy's justifying on me but i do have a non-aggression power them i don't know if they'll still be my fr mussolini you best not stab me in the back let's just go ahead and uh make a tactical save just in case neither of us like have any breakthrough whatsoever so this is just good old-fashioned trench warfare baby oh yeah this is what we call operation Get me out of this hellhole. Uh, you don't know what I just did. I just naval invaded this province right here. Broke this province and encircled, I hope, the entire Turkish army. You may be asking what exactly that little maneuver cost us. And the answer to that is uh, a couple. On both sides, actually. Was it worth it? Probably not. But we can now click the revive Byzantium button. And I think, do we get this all cord? That's still occupied. Occupied. So we don't even get turkey cord. We just get it occupied. Uh-oh. Now we get to deal with the fun of the Turks rising up and bombing everything we build. I was saying that. Just because it says occupy. Oh, no. It's no longer occupied. It's now core state. There you go. That's pretty good. Okay. I spoke too soon. But this, this focus tree still sucks. Okay. And now World War II is already well underway it's 1942 and we've just formed an all right nation we've got 85 factories so we're, we're getting to work on that already uh first things i was doing was building tanks in case i was still at war with turkey now i got two paths here i don't really want a powerful axis on my border but the only real way we can strike is into the soviet union but powerful axis on my border with someone who literally has a permanent war goal on me i don't know about that one buddy uh, look at this guy he's literally wearing a hat to hide the fact he's bald and looks like a giant baby I don't trust this man. And taking down the allies isn't exactly easy. And it's way more work, especially from my position here. And I also get my only investment from them. So that doesn't seem too likely either. I will take down Iraq. Italy just cancelled our non-aggression pack. So I think I can see where this one might be going. Uh, we will no longer... Take down Iraq. Oh, here they come. You know what? Screw it. I'll be your best friend, Churchill. Oh, th that's just straight up rude. <laughs> Nobody really wants to be my friend this playthrough, do they? Oh, joke's on you, because I'm going to create a faction with Yugoslavia. There we go. Now, uh, now no one will laugh at us. Now, I was going to naval invade Seven Italy. But looks like I'm not wanted there either. So the only front and the only stake I have in this war is halfway into Romania. Look at that. The, the mighty Greek army is sallying forth and destroying our enemies. The red means we're doing redly good. Green, green is the, the color of babies. Red is the color of men. And also blood. And death. And probably a few, yep, misery. That's, uh, that's... That's a couple of miseries right there. It's just, uh, appears to be getting a bit higher. You know what, Yugoslavia, you're, you're coming to war. If I'm dying, you're dying. Hey, now you're gonna wish you never made fun of Greek people. There we go. Boom. I have completed my super epic win encirclement. You're no longer legally able to make fun of Greece anymore, even though it looks like the war's over. That's right, watch. Mark it down the history books that it was, in fact, Greece or the Byzantine Empire, you know, the Eastern Roman Empire that turned the tide of this war forever. Oh my god, I, I'm just trying to grab as much land as possible. <laughs> the Americans are like snaking in my way. Oh! 
It don't matter anyway, I got play let peace comes from oh, oh my god, I got a 28 Oh no Th this one is gonna is gonna take a while. I I, I guess first of all, uh, I think I should be rightly compensated for my sick encirclement, so Romania definitely belongs to me, right? Also, my ally would like their land back. Um uh, Gruso Slavia, we will never be broken apart. We always care for each other. Oh my god. The, the fact that I have to click this button so many damn times to give you land, Yugoslavia. I'm really, I'm contemplating this alliance right now. Next up, uh, Hungary and Slovakia both must be protected and brought into Gruso Slavia, but we won't be changing the name. We've already copywritten it. We've got the merch. The t-shirts are out there. By the way, get yourself a History Boy t-shirt. Link down below. Go ahead. Support the channel. <laughs> what if I get a Gruso Slavia t-shirt? <laughs> Would anyone buy a Gruso Slavia t-shirt? All right. Next up, I think I deserve all of Italy. Oh my god, that's 11,000 points, but I need to click a few more times. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna pop it down. Uh, I don't really care about the rest. <laughs> Should I just let Germany go? <laughs> just let them be free back into the world? Uh, actually, you know what? I'll, can I take Libya? I'll take Libya myself, and then I might just release Germany and say what? <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie! Look at that though. Griso Slavy is looking great! Uh, imagine the allies coming out of that peace conference and being like, hold on. <laughs> we, did, we didn't finish it! <laughs> and there, there I am, just walking away with like buckets of gold under my arm, saying, up, oh, see you all tomorrow! Alright, so now that we've gone ahead and conquered a whole bunch of land, got Italy as a puppet and strengthened our faction, we will need to go ahead and create a spy agency and. That I refuse to believe those are words. You just spam the keyboard. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? <laughs> you gonna, gonna give it a second shot? Alright, I think, um. I think Stalin might be a little bit mad about what I did. Why don't we smooth this over with a little investment, Stalin? I give you some money and, you know, I invest in your... Uh... Communist society. How does this work? Look, you gave them a good seeing to, right? You beat them in the war and they're being, like, you more fair now. Look, they've created a little collaboration government. That's, um... Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, maybe I spoke a bit too soon there. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess they don't want me investing in those old little Siberian promises, eh? That probably just angered them more, the mere suggestion of me investing in their country for profit. Oh! Well, at least the the British like us. That's free civilian factories. Thank you. Hey, you know what, Italy? I am just going to go ahead and steal whatever army you got. You're going to the front lines, buddy. You got to pay for your crimes. Oh, that's, that's front line you got, Soviets. Would it be a shame if some Greek tanks drove straight through it? Yeah, I'm sorry. T-34 sucks. Uh, the, the more superior tank is the... The Valley. Oh yeah, try and naval invade me. Well, you're gonna get Valvalvly. You just—I like, just realized Germany's declared war on Yugoslavia. I haven't been called in, but by the looks of things, I don't think I need to be. I think they got it covered. There we go. I'd like to see you try and pull that one again. I'll definitely be watching, maybe. And by watching, I mean I'm just gonna set these Italian units just to garrison the port around here. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough. Well, um. I was expecting you to do a bit better after I left you alive, Germany. And not, you lose to Yugoslavia. Either way, Greece Slavia has got a new member. It's Afghanistan and Iran. That's right, we are now a Greece Slavia Stan. Iran. Bit of a mouthful, but it looks great on a t-shirt. Now I just realized I have a massive stockpile of tanks and mechanized, and I have, I have not really been making more. I could have had a lot more tanks. The the Vuv, the Vuvalis, the Valvalis, the Valvalis, the, the Valvalis are flying off the shelf. Just like they're flying off the tongues, because they're so easy to pronounce. I've just uh, left the game running for a long time, you know. Just uh, got myself uh, some tea. I don't usually drink tea, but you know, I was like, yeah, I'll just leave the game running. Came back. Uh, Germans declared war on me, so I just threw the Italian, all my puppet troops over here. You know, that's fine. So it was declared war on Poland. And then did Molotov rim and drop. So they gave it all to the Germans. <laughs> yeah, that... Uh, you see, uh, Germany's not even a war with the Allies. So they, they just 
This is reverse World War Two. Yeah, definitely the weirdest invasion of Germany I ever did. But also, because when I saved you, Germany, why did you declare war on me? I, 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 I don't want you, but I'm not gonna let you free again. There you go. The only person I can trust in this world. I also gave Czechoslovakia to Slovakia. I think we'll just call it Slovakia, Slovakia. Ugh. What do I do with you? You know what? <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> there you go. Third row, my ass. I gotta say that on the map, Greco Slavia looking pretty good. Well, it's safe to say it's 1947. And I hate Greece. <laughs> uh, if you guys know a better side of this focus to go down, um, let me know. But from what I can see, not very good. I think a lot of that relies on the fact that the economy tree for Greece is just so weird that you don't just get straight up industry. You kind of have to do all these weird things, which um, it leaves you very weak for the stuff that happens. Like, you got to get Turkey real quickly or else... Uh, well, you, you already saw World War One, Two over here. But yes, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button down below, or else you won't be invited to Greek or Slavic. Uh, yeah, also buy a t-shirt down below. Goodbye.